That's right, guys. Week 315. When am I going to get at the comic book store this time? We'll find out. Stay tuned, everybody. Hey, comic book fans. Welcome back to Comic Book Corner 2.0. And fans, you're back with me, Mike Spider Slayer. Getting ready to do Spider Slayer's comic book haul. Week 315 or episode 315. Whatever you want to call it, it's a lot of episodes. So this is the video series where each and every week I show you, the fans, which books I picked up at the comic book store. That's right, fans. And I feel like this week is another highly anticipated week, right? We got No, no Justice coming out this week. We wind up having a new Venom book coming out this week. So a lot of cool stuff coming out this week. So... Let's not waste any time, and let me show you what I got in the mysterious black bag of comics. And uh, first things first, though, actually, this couldn't fit in the bag, so I wound up getting this uh, this Venom promotional poster. How cool is that, huh? Oh, fancy, fancy. So I wound up getting that, so I'll hang that up somewhere. Uh, but yes, here we go. Into the comic books we shall go, right? All right, so earlier on my way to the comic sports store, I had to stop at Target, and they had these little Spider-Man metal die-cast figures uh, on clearance, uh, if you guys can see that, um, only for $2.48. It consists of Black Spider-Man, regular Spider-Man, Green Goblin, uh, the Vulture, and uh, Gwen Stacy Spider-Man, or Spider-Gwen. So I thought that was cool for two bucks, set them up somewhere. And uh, display them. Alright, so here we go. On to the comic books. Bag is right there. And let's get started, shall we? Alright, so first things first. This was last week's book, Red Sonia, issue 15. Um, this book did not come at my comic shop because it was damaged. So they got new copies this week. So I'm looking forward to seeing what's going on in this issue of Red Sonia. Red Sonia's artwork is always really nice. It's great. Covering uh, covers, gee whiz, great cover work, great interior art. Carlos Gomez does the interior artwork. It always looks phenomenal. So that's Red Sonia issue 15. I heard this issue is pretty good. Next is issue three of Oblivion Song. Uh, gruesome looking cover here um, as we get to see our hero actually go into the Oblivion Song, uh, which his name is Nathan. And uh, it looks like he's coming across uh, some more of these crazy creatures and people that are actually stuck on the other side. So I'm definitely looking forward to seeing how this series continues, written by Robert Kirkman. All right, next um, from Image Comics is issue two of Barrier. I did not get a chance to read issue one. And it came out on free comic book day. Um, so I wanted to pick up two so I can read the two issues back to back. The weird thing about this is when you look at it compared to a normal comic, um, you can see that it's bigger. And it goes like sideways. It's like a calendar, right? And uh, <laughs> I, I don't want to show you this page because there's some crazy nudity on the bottom of this page. But... Uh, this is what you get when you open this up here. So that's crazy, crazy stuff. Eyeballs flying around. Uh, so this looks like worth the read. It's pretty wild. Uh, everywhere I turn, there's some kind of crazy nudity. Uh, yeah, so here's another page of artwork in case you're interested in checking out Barrier here. So that's issue two written by Brian K. Vaughn. All right. Next, from DC Comics, I uh, wound up getting the variant cover of Batman White Knight. Uh, issue 8. Uh, this is a really nice cover as you get to see Joker uh, holding Harley Quinn here. Uh, just awesome, right? And then you get to see in the background uh, where you get to see, um, I guess it's Jack Napier, or if that's how you say his name, and then, you know, the original Harley Quinn. Um, I think guess that's the way it is there. So and she, and they're holding each other and Batman's in the background. So really cool stuff. I think Sean Murphy has uh, 
really hit this one out of the park. It's been a really nice series. Uh, it's cool seeing the Joker kind of uh, normal here for at least a little while to get that scene with like uh, Clayface going after the Batmobile. So it's been a really wild ride when it comes to this. I love all the the vehicles that are in this issue too. So really awesome. So that's Batman White Knight issue 8. If you haven't read it yet, read it when it comes out in trade probably three months from now because DC is so slow on their trade releases. All right, next, new book from Marvel Comics this week. A new volume of Venom. This is issue number one. But if you want to go into the legacy numbering, we have issue 166. Uh, really cool cover here. Um, we get Donnie Gates, who's the one that writes it. Ryan Stegman is the artist on this book. Um, really dark looking, as you get to see the opening pages here. Uh, Eddie Brock looks very dark. It looks like uh, Jack O'Lantern's in there. Check that artwork out, man. Oh, God, that's so freaking awesome. I love Ryan Stegman's artwork. This is a very dark book. The coloring even feels uh, really dark as well. So, awesome stuff. Can't wait to read this one. This is Venom issue 1 or 161. All right, next, we have Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man. Went back in time. Things are screwed up. Um, now it looks like he's got, like, Dr. Octopus arms around him. I don't know why he's tied up. Um, this one is done by um, uh, Zdarsky and Adam Kubert is the artist in this particular issue. Here we get to see what's going on. And we find out that Peter Parker actually truly has a sister. There's some, uh, I think, is that Gwen Stacy? Yeah, I guess so. Maybe back in time. So yeah, really cool stuff. I like this series uh, at times at least this story arc, um, but it hasn't been my favorite. Uh, it's it's still okay enough for me to pick it up each week, and it's hard for me not to read a Spider-Man book, so that's why I also continue it. Um, again, it's had its moments. All right, next from Marvel, New Mutants, Dead Souls, Issue 3. Wasn't going to pick this one up this time around, but... It did look kind of comical how they're all in a plane together. And I'm curious to see what their interactions will be like. And it says, fly the deadly skies. So once again, the last page of, of this book in issue two wind up saying, you know what, well, let me give it a third try. However, if the third issue is not good, I'm not going to read the, the, the fourth or fifth issue or however it many issues that they actually have but the artwork in this series is just atrocious it's like a train wreck for me i'm not a fan of it but the story this time around might actually look pretty interesting so we'll see how it turns out so the new mutants issue number three all right next really nice cover here uh, greg land does the artwork for this interior uh, for this uh cover and this is domino issue two I like this book. I think there was uh, mixed emotions amongst people on how uh, Gail Simone wrote Domino in, in that first issue, but I liked her. Some people saying it's since like kind of like another version of Harley Quinn and Marvel's version of Harley Quinn, and do we actually really need that? Here we get to see um, Domino being rescued by Spider-Man. So it looks like her luck powers are working out pretty good. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to... The continuation of this actual book. I think Gail Simone is adding layers to this character. And I think she actually needs it. So this is Domino Issue 2. Next, we have The Hunt for Wolverine, The Adamanium Agenda. This is the variant cover as you get to see Wolverine running forward. And you get to see Iron Man. And you get to see Spider-Man. Um, is that Rogue there? I'm not sure. And then Luke Cage. And so, um, the, I'm curious, who actually does the artwork in this one? Uh, I'm not too sure. Penciler, R.B. Sylvia. So, here's the first page as you open up the book. In case you guys are curious about the artwork, here's some of the paneling in there as well. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to this. Got Spider-Man in it, so you know I'm always a fan. Check out Wolverine in there, bottom panel down here. That's pretty cool. So definitely looking forward to this first issue. So probably going to try to review that as well. All right. Next, we have World War Hulk 2. 
Um, this is issue 716. We're still on Legacy on this particular uh, book. We get to see uh, Emmerdale's chill who's out of control. And we got to see him try to regain himself here. Uh, the Hulk is in complete control. Emmerdale's is locked in the trunk. Um, you know, not the best read in the world, but it is kind of entertaining from an action standpoint in here. So we'll see how this one ends. So this is uh, issue 716. All right, next from DC, we have Sideways, issue four. Pulled in all directions. We'll get to see another new character that Sideways interacts with. This has been a phenomenal read. Each issue has been great. Uh, I love the character development here, and I love how Sideways is growing um, as a particular hero as well. Uh, so this has been a great read. If you guys haven't checked out Sideways, I definitely say go out there and purchase this. This will You will not be disappointed here. So Sideways, issue four. Next, we have Wonder Woman, issue 46. All, hall, all hail the dark gods. I haven't read Wonder Woman in a long time. Um, it seems like a good jumping on point right now. It's starting a new story arc. Cool looking cover in here. Not sure I'm going to know what's really going on. But when you open up and you have a page like that, um, it kind of gets me excited. So uh, really looking forward to <laughs> what's happening here in Wonder Woman. So it's some crazy stuff. So that's issue 46. All right. Next, we have Hal Jordan in the Green Lantern Corps. This is Stark Star Rising. Uh, this is the continuation of that story. Right now, we have Hal Jordan in the Green Lantern Corps trying to figure out these Dark Stars and how are they going to stop them. But if they interfere, the Dark Stars are going to kill them all. Here's the opening page to the artwork in here, guys, in case you wanted to see that. Uh, nice looking artwork in here. So yeah, uh, this story here by Vendetti has been great. So this is issue number 44. Definitely check it out, guys. All right. Really highly anticipated book this week, guys. This is Justice League No Justice. This is issue one of four. Um, and then obviously we get the other four Justice League books. And I'm sure this book explains to you why our teams are split up into four. Um, into four separate teams. So... I'm doing a review right away after this haul, and I'm going to get it up as soon as possible in case you guys are on the fence about buying this or just want to give your thoughts on this particular issue. Uh, when you open it up, it has Francis Menopole's artwork in here. He's a great artist. Uh, when he has time to show his artwork, uh, you know, it's glancing through the book. There's a lot of small panels in here, and, uh, you know, it makes it hard at time to really shine as an artist when you have these smaller panels. But looking forward to it. Stay tuned for a review on Justice League No Justice, Issue 1. All right. And now some of the back issues that I picked up this week. First off, um, I've been trying to get some more of these Silver Surfer books, especially when it has to do with the Infinity Gauntlet. Um, I wound up getting issue number 46. I love the cover art in this. Um, I thought Silver Surfer back in the 90s was really cool. That's how I like the character, and I love the interior artwork and the cover art. Some of the best art, I felt, in my opinion. I uh, wound up getting issue 53. Yeah, Silver Surfer's like all evil. He's like, death to the Emperor. And this is in an Infinity Gauntlet crossover. And you get to see all the cool, like, um, like all the, you know, all his powers coming out of his hands. And it's like smoking and stuff. That's really cool stuff. And then I wind up getting issue 58. As you get to see Namor, Hulk, and uh, Doctor Strange in there doing battle. Uh, it's the Defenders doing battle against Evil Silver Surfer. And then last but not least, this is the biggie of the week, guys. I wind up getting a King Size Annual, The Avengers, uh, issue 7. That's right. Um, this was made in 1977. And uh, this is the actual death of Adam Warlock. And Gomorra dies. And this is the first time we see the appearance of some of these Infinity Gems as well. This is a huge issue for the Avengers run. Uh, my, my store luckily had a copy of this. As soon as I saw it, I had to grab it. So this is great to add into the classic collection. So there you guys have it. There is the haul for this week. 
Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Now it's your turn to show me what you got in the comments below and what you picked up this week and books you're looking forward to reading and not reading. And uh, as always, fans, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell to not miss a single video from me. And as always, fans, this is Mike Spider Slayer signing off. And thanks for watching, guys. Take care. Bye.